All right, folks, what we have here are some Sun Labs rechargeable batteries. They are uh, nickel metal hydride batteries. There are 16 of them in this package, and they're uh, triple A's. And I believe I got this for uh, just under $18 uh, sent to me, so less than a dollar a battery. And uh, they're rated, or they claim to be rated at 1,000 mAh, which is uh, pretty high. And... Um, given the price point that's actually extraordinarily high uh, I would expect <laughs> for some more uh, reputable batteries for 16 of them to to be closer to you know 24 to 32 bucks um, so anyhow what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this package of batteries up <clears throat> and then we're gonna stick them in the uh, Fox Novo digital charger the 4S and then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna top these batteries off and then uh, we're going to drain them down and fill them back up and see what the um, what the capacity turns out to be. We're going to do this test at uh, half an amp, and then uh, we'll see what kind of results we get. And then uh, we may do do it again um, at, at a full amp or maybe half amp. We'll take we'll take it as it goes and see and see, and see what happens. Uh, let's go ahead and get these babies opened up. They're uh, shrink wrapped in here pretty good. Sorry about this, folks. I just like to open them up and get them in the charger on on camera. Mm, holy mackerel! Holy mackerel! I hope these batteries are as good as the shrink wrap. There we go. I think we're getting somewhere. And look at that double shrink wrapped, which I actually think is pretty handy. Let's just go ahead and bust this open. And then I will take these four out. Look at that, it's jumping into the uh, to the charger. <clears throat> Man, these are like uh, iron packed in here. Alright, let's go ahead and get them charged. Some of these are not registering, they're not in there yet. <clears throat> With this charger, sometimes you have a little bit of trouble getting the uh, there you go. Let's get it set to capacity so you can see what's going on here, folks. And then now uh, we'll go ahead and leave it at a half amp. Let's see if, uh, if I can focus in on this. There we go. So you can see they're, that they're they're topping off right now. They're at uh, 1.287, somewhere right around there on average uh, average volts. So let's go ahead and let this run, and then uh, we'll check back in a little bit later. Thank you. All right, folks, we're back, and uh, what we did was a capacity test on these batteries at a half of an amp. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we came up with. Let's see if you can can see that or not. So anyhow, we have a 1.48, 1.48 volts, 1.48 volts, and then 1.39. Um, none of that's particularly concerning, but uh, what we have in terms of capacity is, is uh, 977 out of 1,000, which isn't too bad. That's, uh, I would say a pretty good score. 399 <laughs> out of 1,000, so that's, that's pretty bad. Um, on this one, we have 886. Again, which isn't bad considering the price point of these batteries, um, that's more capacity than, say, an end loop. And then uh, this one is 967. So, in general, I don't think that we're too upset with the findings. This battery is a little concerning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to retest these again at 1 amp, and then I'll post the results when finished. Thanks, everybody. All right, folks. So I just ran a test on these batteries, the second one, uh, doing 1 amp per hour. So I topped them off, drained them down, and filled them back up. And uh, this one actually filled up to over 1,000 uh, milliamps. This one was around 850, and it's still, I can barely touch this battery, it's so hot. This one's not. Uh, this is the one before that stopped at around 380. Um, this one was lower as well, and it's, it's pretty hot. 
I mean, I can touch it. It's not burning me. This this one is actually burning the touch. Um, and these two finished out around 950, 980, somewhere around there. And this this one's fine, too. I'm not going to run the test again. Uh, I started to smell pla like hot plastic, and the um, charger was actually very hot to pick up. So I immediately unplugged it, and I'm just going to call this, uh, this test done. I'm a little concerned about this battery. It's still hot. I'm, I'm still concerned about that battery being hot. Uh, that one might actually end up in a trash can. I'm not sure yet. But anyhow, the gist of this is that I got um, 16 of these Sun Labs for $15.99. Um, and I did some tests a little while back on some end loops that were uh, AAAs that I paid uh, $14.99. So $1 less and I only got 8 of them. Those are rated, the end loops are rated at 800 milliamps. These are rated at uh, 1,000. So right now, 3 out of these 4 are performing oh, better than the end loops. I'm not saying that these have many charging cycles, and I'm not saying these are better batteries. Um, but certainly for things like TV remotes or window alarms, and there's plenty of uses for a lower cost alternative. Um, almost half the price less for some batteries like these Sunlabs. I would say if you are going to use these, go ahead and give them a test and see if you can weed out. I think this battery is going to be problematic. I mean, it's it's still steaming hot. Um, so maybe I'll test this in a flashlight or something like that, but uh, this one's probably going to end up in a trash can. Anyhow, that's it, folks. Just thought I would uh, follow up and close this video out. Thanks, everybody.